Alright, good morning folks, you find me walking along the road here to go and get my hair cut. Yes, my unruly mop is going to be tamed by the Turkish barber just along the road here. So hopefully it won't be busy man and we're going to get in and get it done quickly and get away. Disaster man! Why is it closed? Oh, for goodness sake! Oh, to my head head like this. Oh, so no. folks, it's a disaster. The hair won't be getting cut today. I want to end up looking like that. Look, sort of handsome hair cut like that. So this used to be um, the shop here. It used to be a paper shop. I mean, I used to live just along the road there, folks. Just along the road. This was my local paper shop owned by JD and his dad. They retired now, and the uh, the gents' barn is not open. Oh, damn it! Welcome to the TARDIS. <laughs> the hair has been cut. It was actually open when I went past it was shut but uh, when I drove past it just put the shutters up so it just jumped in quickly. Have I walked past my car? I have, right. Did I pick up my car keys there? Hang on. Right folks, so the hair has been cut. There it is. Now I asked him to leave it a bit long on the back so I don't know if it looks a bit sort of, does it look like a, does it look like I've got a mullet folks? I don't know. I don't know if I'm too happy with the back bit or not. I'm not too sure. I said, I said to him, look, just leave it sort of long at the back. But I don't know if he, I think he's left it too long at the back, folks. I don't know. Should have just asked him to shave it all off, really, to tell you the truth. But um, anyway, we'll have a we'll have a look at it. See how, see how it is. Right, folks. Here we are in Spiz HQ, where today we have a fantastic new invention. After yesterday's howling winds, my microphone was just absolutely hopeless because it's had this this thin. Um, microphone cover on it. However, I've got this one. This is a, a, a deluxe microphone cover and inside there is the small blue microphone folks. So this is called Micro Ball. I've invented Micro Ball. There it is. So you can sling it around the place. In fact, I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it into an extendable, um, oh yes, hang on. Because I mean, look, it can hang down here now, sort of thing. I can tuck it in there. Um, because it seems to work a lot better when it's actually tucked into something. Um, but I'm going to go and test it. Actually, that's what I'm going to go and do right now, folks. I'm going to go and give it a wind test. Outside. Right, folks, here we go. Then this is us testing a micro ball outside in the open. It's not too windy here just yet. But uh, here we go into the, uh, into the street where micro ball will be getting its first test. Here we go. This is quite a, a strong wind right here, folks. Here we go. Strong winds approaching. Now I'm going to actually attach, try and attach this onto the, um, the the tripod thing that I've got in here. So we'll try that. Uh, and as you can see, folks, it'll probably just end up. It can end up just being down there, which uh, seems to be quite good. Right, let's see what we can do here. Yeah, I'm going to bring this in and try and try and. Oh, hang on, folks. See, this is a disaster. This is what's happened. This is the only bad thing about micro ball is that it can actually maybe fall. Microball can fall, thanks. Microball yeah. testing, one, two, three, four. Um, yeah, very strong wind here, folks. So I can have it out here. Maybe I can tuck it under my head and tuck it under here. It's going to be like that old Captain Scarlet thing I tried to invade a few years ago, remember? Um, right, anyway, we'll, we'll see what we can well, do. Well, folks, unfortunately, Microball was a bit of a, um, a bit of a disaster. Oh, look at my hair, it's all flat and everything, look. Okay, oh, good look at it. Oh, look at it. What's going on there, man? That's just, oh, that's outrageous. Hang on, let's go and get this sorted. Hang on, before you. Yeah, well, as you saw, folks, that micro ball, or well, as you heard, I should say, micro ball wasn't too successful out there. So, what we're going to try and do is put on the original, uh, I think they call these things dead cats. So, put on the original dead cat and then put that one on top of it. So, we've got like a, a double, a double um, sort of. Uh, now what do I do with this? Oh, I left it in the car, haven't I? Oh, for goodness sake. Right, so here it is then, micro ball, two folks with its um, adjustable stand, uh, which will probably be able to go around that. Look at that, I can go around the back. Look at that, folks. I think I've done it. That's it. There it is, micro ball two. Right, this needs to be tested, folks. So let's go outside and test micro ball two. Oh, that looks awesome. Does it, does it look stupid or does it look cool? I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll go and try it anyway. We'll take it into the street again. 
and try micro ball two. Yeah, unfortunately, micro ball one was a bit of a disaster. So this is micro ball two. We'll give this a test. Oh goodness me! Out into the the cause. Really brutal win there, man. So that will give micro ball probably a really good test. Very strong. We've had storm storm Dennis, and the winds last night were absolutely horrific, man. Really, really uh, strong. I thought that, I mean, our building's quite tall, but you just wonder, don't you? You know, when, when they built it, the uh, the integrity of the building, how long is it going to last? But, uh, so, yeah, these these buildings, the ones that I live in, were probably built in around, about, what, the, the, the 60s, 70s, maybe? Um, I need to go and do some some research, man, onto the uh, the whole thing itself and see when they were actually built. There's Neil Warney, Neil. Uh, see when they were built. Because I'm sure the foundation is this thing a a massively strong man. Well, as you heard, the micro ball two was a bit of a success. Oh, no, unfortunately, I think my voice was a little bit too, coming over a little bit too strong. So I need to have it further away. Maybe maybe down here when when I'm outside in the wind. Now the winds, um, as I said, were massively strong last night with Storm Dennis, and they were really howling in pretty badly. So I don't think the winds are going to get anywhere near as bad as that again in the near future. However, you know, we do like a, a beach walk every now and again or going out. So hopefully um, with it just sort of being down here, it'll be a lot better. A lot better? Is that is that a, a term? Production crew? A lot right, better? So it seems to have some sort of connection issues um, with microball. So it could just be the um, the connection into the phone itself. So I've taken the, I've taken the case off. And uh, it seems to be. It just seems to be when I touch this bit here, it seems to sort of go and come and and have all sorts of static problems. Hang on, till we have another listen to this. Now, folks, I must admit, I've been back. To, I've been back to the barber shop. I wasn't happy with my haircut. There was just too much like a mullet. So I went back, and the same guy was there. He was just put, putting up some towels. So um, I just asked him, "Look, brother, I'm really sorry. Would it be okay?" And he said, "Yeah, yeah, no problem." So he. He did it again for me, man, and it's uh, it's looking a lot better. I'll, I'll, I'm going to take my hands when I get back in. But this is where I used to live, folks. 306 on uh, is it Queen Street Road? Queen Street, Queen Street. That was it. To 306 Queen Street. That was the top flat. That was our flat just up there. That was where I used to live, just up there, folks. The first floor. There we go. Just there. I used to live right there, folks. So if you ever did a Jank Lives tour, then 306 Queen Street is where I first. Came back and lived in the ferry. Oh my goodness me, it's so windy again here. Oh look. And I don't have micro ball with and me. And this is a disaster as well. You can't get under the underpass. They're doing some work on it. So you're gonna have to stand here in the cold and wait until the train goes by. Oh mate. Absolute disaster. Right, however, let's go to the back of uh, where I used to live. Um, I always remember this used to be a restaurant, this place here. Uh, so this is the back, this is where I used to this is it. There we go, that was the kitchen. Point the right place here, yeah, kitchen, bathroom, and uh, some other place. But uh, behind us used to be this restaurant, it was called uh, Valentino's or uh, uh, the Octopus or something like that. Anyway, something to do with seafood, I'm sure it was. Um, and it was okay, but they used to um, hang their, their towels out the back um, in our drying area. And it wasn't very nice to see, I must admit. And they eventually had to close down. Right, so put some graffiti here on the back of this place. Smoke weed every day. Well, anyway, it's so cold. I'm just trying to, trying to uh, burn off some, burn, put some heat onto my body because it's so cold. I'm going to hang about here the railway and the uh, the uh, the underpass to ram me across the streets. Let's cross the level crossing, folks. Absolutely ram me to get across. So I'm joining the ram me. Um, I, I went into McPherson's there, the pharmacy, to, just to stay warm basically, but the girl there was very, very nice. I was asking if she had any Dax, uh, any Dax, but they said no, unfortunately, but I was just talking about it. That's very nice indeed. Now, there's an old hotel used to be here, and you can still see where the, the bar is like there. That used to be where the hotel was. Uh, used to be able to see, I think you used to be able to see the sign there, I'm not sure. Anyway, well, somebody's nosy around the back, he sits around here. So we're going into, uh, I think it's semi chem or one of those cheap sort of places to try and get uh, Dax hair gel. See if they have it. I'm super drunk. I'm super drunk now, folks, looking for Dax so, hair gel. This is Microball 2, folks.
with the double sheath on it. Double sheath, hang on, how's that one? 